five. Brandon, game number two for the regional semifinals. Pulaski County just pulled out an epic comeback. So fans are here and they're just now tuning in to watch the game. They need to go back and watch the game that we just posted on Maroon Sports Network. Because to be down 11 points in the fourth quarter and come back and win by six or eight, I don't even what the final was, but it was an amazing comeback for the Pulaski County Maroons. You and I are tickled to death to be sitting here knowing that we get a call on Pulaski County once again tomorrow night. And now Carson Fraley, three consecutive regional championships. So the kid's going to have nine games under his belt going and well ending his sophomore year so now but let's switch over fans are here now because they're here to watch game number two they're here to watch Danville Christian Academy versus Somerset I was talking to my kids today and I'm like you know rarely does a Pulaski County Maroon ever root for Somerset and I hate to say to the Danville Christian fans but I'm probably rooting for Somerset tonight and the number one reason I am is because of Ben Gobby because uh his cousin, first cousin, was such an athlete for us with Smurf and Chandler Gobby. Now we got the little brother in here and, and Boone and Crockett. So Boone Gobby is going to be amazing. And, and you know, the Gobbies are just a super good family from a Hobie to every single one of them. So that makes me partial to them. And these boys hang out together a lot of times. There's also rivals on the court. You know, that's going to be the big thing. But you can be friends off the court. But we talked about a little bit earlier. Jeff Litton come up talking to us. And they said, you know, Danville Christian Academy, I think, has got a 6'7", 6'10". And he said 6'11". They call him a seven-footer, but he doesn't like to be called a seven-footer. He prefers to be called six-foot eleven. So I'm gonna call him a seven-footer just because that's the closest thing until I get official measurement. We will see what the official count is. So over to you. Well, in the Trinity Christian game, if you paid attention to the box score, you would have thought, man, Ben Godby really didn't leave his impression in that game. But really, in all honesty, if you're a fan of the game and Coach Young knows this. Ben Godby changed that first round game because all of the attention defensively was going to him. And then in that fourth quarter, he struck when the iron was hot, and you realize why he's the 12th region player of the year. Ryan Young has got his teams firing on all cylinders right now. Ingrid Whitaker, my man caught fire in that second half in that first game. Six three-pointers in that first, uh, first game that he had against Trinity Christian. My man was pulling up in the bucket where the volleyball coats were. It was crazy what was going on. But, hey, listen, Aiden Absher also, he's putting up some big minutes for the Briar Jumpers. Briar Jumpers with the shortened rotation. Josh Lewis, a freshman, true freshman, came in and hit five threes against Trinity Christian. If these guys, just like Blasky County, have anything offensively left over from that game, they might be putting Danville Christian on their heels. But, hey, I'm going to go with guards tonight. With Danville Christian, number two, Emmanuel Duke. We know about the seven-footers. They were going up and challenging and blocking things at the rim, and then you realize, whoa, these guys are leaving their pressions felt. But there is the left-hander that they have on, let me see, number 21. Let me find him here. I know I should have game prepped right here. But they have a left-handed shooter. I only see 21. Uh, but anyway, I'm way off. It's, uh, it's, it's Gunnar Lowry. I'm thinking when to go with him on that one. He was the guy that was getting to his spots in the Wayne County game and find him shots. But Emmanuel Dude, he is the guard. He has another cylinder that he goes to. It is speed, speed, and speed. So, James, this should be an exciting competition. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I had to miss the Thursday night game, so you got to see Danville Christian play. This will be the first time for me seeing them play tonight. So fans, we're going to have various commentators tonight on the Danville Christian Academy Somerset game because everybody wants to call it. But until then, let's get ready to take a commercial, come back with our final thoughts, 12 minutes to go, and let's thank our Do you want to go to college, but you don't have a way to pay for it? Do you have a passion for working with your hands or learning a trade skill or even starting a STEM career? The Kentucky Army National Guard will pay 100% of your trade school or college and will give you real-life experience while you're getting paid. Are you self-employed, own your own business, or just pay an outrageous amount of money for health, dental, or life insurance? The Kentucky Army National Guard provides all of these and more with TRICARE Select Reserve at a better than affordable rate. Are you someone that is interested in serving your country in the military, but you want to stay closer to home? The Kentucky Army National Guard allows you to live here and serve here. Serve part-time in our community one week in a month and two weeks during the summer. Contact Staff Sergeant Sebastian Road now to learn more at 606-269-2450. Kentucky Army National Guard for you. 
Crane and Boom Services of Kentucky. Whether it's trusses, air conditioner unit, swimming pool insert, hot tub, signs, flagpole lifted or a grain bin moved. If you can't lift it, Josh can. Remember, Crane and Boom Services of Kentucky for all of your lifting needs. No job too big or small, Crane and Boom comes 100% recommended by Maroon Sports Network. So call 606-305-1832 and ask for Josh. Crane and Boom. On the day of the fire, I had left that morning to fly to Boston. My alarm system was not even on. It wasn't even activated at the time, but yet the smoke detector went off and signaled our neighborhood fire department automatically. And when they walked up there, they told me, they said, your house was just minutes away from being fully engulfed because it had gone up the walls, it was on the ceiling, that was going down in the carpet, but they got there so fast because of the system notified them. It saved my the rest of my house and my three dogs were in there It saved my dog. I'm extremely grateful for my silent guard system. I don't know where we would be without it. It, it saved everything that day. It's the new year, new you, but by February, you give up. Let affordable medical weight loss centers of Kentucky help you achieve your goal. No dieting, no exercise, just results. With America's number one weight loss supplement, semaglutide or terzepatide, and weight loss sculpting by Invisa Red, a weight loss breakthrough that finally works. This year, take charge and transform your life with our services. Visit us today at Affordable Medical Weight Loss Centers of Kentucky. Looking for a taste of home? Look no further than Ruckles in Eubank, Kentucky. With all-you-can-eat specials throughout the week and a tempting array of vegetarian dishes, Ruckles has something for every palate. From classic comfort foods to exciting culinary creations, Ruckles is where memories are made over delicious meals. So come visit us today at 192 KY70 in Eubank, Kentucky. We're open during the week till 9 p.m. Ruckles, where every bite feels like coming home. Call us now for any of your catering needs at 606-379-6400. Ruckles. Time to shine, time to shine, yeah! Watch me now. Now. Super Monday, March 11th here in PC Gym. I got my man all the way from Richmond, Rich City, Rich Vegas, Kentucky. My man Dalton Murray's going to lay down some facts for us. But hey, after the first game, viewers, it was a tale of crazy basketball. PC going up 11, giving up the 11 point lead, then going down 11. PC storming back, going up four, going up as much as nine again, almost giving that lead away, and then winning by. Six. That was a crazy contest, and we have nothing but respect for this next matchup between Danville Christian, the Warriors of Danville Christian, and, of course, the Briar Jumpers of Somerset. Both teams have played in the regular season, and Dalton, it was a contest where Somerset was leading a majority of the way in that game and ended up being a couple of possessions difference where Danville Christian took the lead. Both teams know each other. Difference right now is here in March, Ryan Young's got a shortened rotation. Ryan Young has a shortened rotation, and he's going to be playing truly with five guys that's going to be playing in this. So in this case, we got shooters for the Somerset Briar Jumpers. We got rebounding in Absher and Godby. Ingrid Whitaker is going to have to stir the string a little bit, probably play point guard a little bit and lead it like we've seen him do. But I'm excited about this competition. Dalton, what about you, my man? Before we jump into all that, man, this is first and foremost Maroon Sports Network, and I just can't get over what we just witnessed, Brendan Forster. I mean, first of all, what about the mental fortitude it took when Trevor Ellis dunked the ball to put an exclamation point on an 11-point lead? How easy would it have been for PC to give up in that moment? Oh. I mean, Coach Flaley rallied those guys. And I just want to shout out a few people here. First of all, Zach Anderson goes from two fouls to four fouls in a matter of probably three seconds. How easy would it be to hang your head in that moment when you get blown for 
two quick whistles. Instead, Fraley puts his confidence in Zach, and Zach changes that game defensively and never picks up that fifth foul, which I thought was huge. And then Jalen Woodridge smokes a huge layup. That could have been a confidence killer right there, but he steps into a three to solidify that win for PC. In March, I think it's all mental. It's all what you bring to the table, the mindset that you bring. And PC proved tonight that they have the mentality to refuse to lose. That was big time. This is a who's who. Got David uh, Phillips walking, 12th region legend, 12th region coach, uh, Wade Up Church is here, Peyton AC, the Lady Warriors, of course, a 12th region star and legend. Okay, we got Trevor Rodner, the tier. We've got several players just kind of making their way around here. It's an exciting night. This atmosphere has picked up where uh, some of the fans from the first game has kind of lingered, but both fan bases from Danville Christian and the Briar Jumpers have made their way in here. This should be a tough competition. Two teams that can rebound, two teams that can shoot, two teams that know each other. I'm ready to see what Coach Young can do because early on in the season, preseason, if you would on paper, the Briar Jumpers had a top three, if not one of the top teams preseason coming into the 12th region boys basketball. When you're returning Ben Gobby and he lived up to the bill, he was the 12th region player of the year. He was bringing a lot of excitement to the table where you know that intensity is going to be high and he's not going to give up on play. So I'm excited to see what both competition, both teams do in this competition, especially with Danville Christian's size. They're coming at you with two seven footers and some powerful guard play. Yeah, um, once everybody talks about DCA, of course they want to talk about those two seven-footers. How can you not? I mean, that's a difference maker. That's a luxury that other teams in this region don't have. But I'm impressed with number 12, Titus Boyd. Down the stretch against Wayne County, he got to his spot, stopped, popped, and dropped every shot that he took down the stretch to basically will the Warriors to that matchup. So I'm excited to see what he can do against against Whitaker or against Godby. I'm excited for the guard play in this matchup. Yeah, you speak of Titus Boyd. Titus Boyd was big for the Warriors the other night. Really, at the end of regulation, the Warriors from Danville Christian finding themselves down two, and he gets to a spot like Kobe, and it's a big shot with a lot of confidence. Does it the next two possessions. Offensively, that young man really blossomed before our eyes to kind of say, let's go. The seven footers lived up to the bill and blocked shots at the rim. We know they're going to do that. We know they're going to control that. I'm excited. We're counting down, folks. Three minutes until tip-off. We got the Briar Jumpers from Somerset. We got the Warriors from Danville Christian. Hold tight as we say hello to our commercial break. 12th Region Sports is a social media sports coverage company that promotes all 12th Region high school athletes. Our goal is to promote and highlight our athletes in a positive way and to acknowledge all their achievements. Here at 12th Sports, we believe in kids first. We believe in building strong relationships with coaches, players, and schools to promote all their programs in a positive light. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Just search for 12th Region Sports Network. At 12th Region Sports, we try to keep it cool, fun, and credible as we try to change the way high school sports is covered. Thank you guys for all your support. Charles Cromer and family is proud to call Pulaski County home and has for over four generations. To say he has a vested interest in taking care of Pulaski Countyans could not be more true. So stop by 705 West Highway 80 for all of your insurance needs. And remember, you truly are in good hands with Charles Cromer Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Got a nasty pest or infestation that you just can't get rid of? All-around termite and pest control can help. Whether you are dealing with a minor pest issue or a full-blown infestation, we have the expertise and experience to handle it. Our team of experts are equipped with the latest tools and techniques to ensure that your property is completely pest-free. Call to schedule your appointment today at 606-219-5037. Five stars out of five stars per Google reviews. That's, again, 606 219 5037. No pest, we can't help. We see you, the moms, the dads, on the road, in the office, at the work site. 
putting in as much time and energy during the five to nine as you did during the nine to five. Let us help you take the next step toward improving your career. Lindsay Wilson College offers flexible options to continue your educational journey. A reduced tuition rate is available for students who take classes 100% online and for those who choose to attend LWC's hybrid program at their local community college campus. Earn a bachelor's degree in human services and counseling, business administration, criminal justice, or let us help you design a degree that fits your goals with LWC's interdisciplinary studies option. You will be supported on every step of your LWC journey with the help of a dedicated success coach and a local LWC representative. We know you want more. Take the next step with LWC. Visit us at online.lindsay.edu. Financial aid is still available. Brandon Foister, here we go. Game two of our doubleheader tonight. Dose. We're going to bring you the starting lineups here. Uh, of course, uh, hey, Dalton, it's always a pleasure to call a game with you. Yes, sir. on Maroon Sports Network. It's Dalton Murray. It's Brand Foister. We're going to bring you the starting lineups uninterrupted. Stay tight for this tip-off to the second game of the semifinals of the Boys 12th Region. Is starting the freshman Grundy over Barrett. So we're going to see if that makes a difference. You're going to go height with height. Of course, you see the height that Danville Christian brings at you. Emmanuel Du, Atinye, Ayanye, and of course, my man who got the tip right there, Titus Boyd, who's bringing it up now for the Warriors. Warriors looking the dark navy with yellow and white trim, old Michigan Wolverines colors. And Somerset's bringing you the white uniforms with gold trim. Boyd, lefty for three. In and out, rebound, Atinye. That size is just too much to handle right there. For Aye, I'm sorry, number one. Shout out to our man Jeff Litton. Sounds like he's got these names down. He's got bad, it down. Son. I'm going to have to take a page out of his book. Josh Lewis, 
Freshman, point guard, gets it off to Ingrid Whitaker. He's going to bring it out for the jumpers. Ben Godby with the ball. I like this matchup right here. Godby and Duke. That should Rundy. be a heck of a matchup in this Whitaker ball game. Gets it back to Lewis. Wide open for three. It's good. What a great set there by Coach Young. One way to not have to deal with the size. How about a wide open corner three? That'll Man. do it. I'm sorry. I called that Josh Lewis, but that was Aiden Absher. Emmanuel Duke. Looks like the jumper's coming out with a hard 2-3 zone. Gets it up to... Oh, I thought, thought about it. Whitaker's going to let it go for three. No good. Off Absher's hand. It's going to go... Oh! It's off his hand a little bit, but they're going to say it's going to stick with the uh, war, uh, jumpers. Yeah, interesting call there, Brendan, but... Lights got a little bit brighter, too, all of a sudden. Whitaker inside to... Lewis. Grundy gets it out to number 22, Whitaker. He's guarded by Titus Boyd. That's another great matchup right there. Whitaker versus Boyd. I'm excited to see this matchup. Braden Fugate guarding the freshman. Absher, and here is, or I'm sorry, Lewis. Absher has the ball for Somerset. Somerset fans, I apologize. Give me a moment to get these names down. Here's Grundy back to Whitaker. Whitaker now dribbles out, met by a seven-footer and Titus yeah, Boyd. Whitaker thought twice once he saw what was coming his way on Looks that like drive. Looks like it's uh, like a zone with man principles, right, Dalton? Uh, yeah, that's what I would call it. Lewis for three. Doesn't hit anything. Rebound comes to Emmanuel Duke. Duke's going to bring it up for Danville Christian. He's going to go hard to the basket to the left side, lays it off the glass, met with nothing. Duke's going to get up and run. He landed in Flavor Flav's left there in the front row of the student section. That big clock hanging off his chest. So much size coming at you from Danville Christian right here. So much size. Look at Somerset's student section. We got Gandalf, uh, Clark uh, looks, Kent. Looks very uh, epic over on the Somerset Sriracha student section. Bottle. Then you check out Danville Christian section, and it's a Hawaiian uh, hu uh, a luau theme. Beach theme. theme. Yeah. Looks like one of the stars of the girls' 12th region tournament is in Godby. the student section. Looks like he walks, picked up his steps a little bit, forced that a little bit too much. Was well, a little bit of contact, but I like seeing the boys play, especially in the postseason, win or go home. I well, like to see some contact be allowed. Uh, hey, it's, uh, well, hey, the last game, they kind of let him play a little bit in the first half. Especially so we got down few the gates Titus, yeah. Fugate with the ball. Back to Boyd. Boyd looking down for IA. He puts it off the glass on the move, and it's in. A teammate. I'm sorry. IA is number one. That just seems like something they should be able to do quite often. Just dump it down low to the big guys and let them finish. Man, the, Looks the, like he had really soft hands off the window the there. The bench for Danville Christian is the size of a football roster, man. A lot of guys dressed out for him. Only 75 students in their enrollment. Yeah, a lot of Are them Are they all on the players. basketball team? Absher for three. He was red hot. Heat check. IA with the rebound to Boyd. Boyd's up and running for Danville Christian. Gets it to Fugate. He's going to let it go for three. It's good. Big three there. First three that goes down for Danville Christian. Ben Godby looking, trying to find Whitaker off the curl screen. He goes in over two seven-footers, puts it nice up and in. Nice finish there. You know, during that first game, I got a notification. WKYT was actually profiling the women's team for Danville Christian, talking oh, nice. about how yeah. such a small Christian school is headed yep. for the first ever Rupp well, Arena hey, appearance. Big props to Danville Christian for their women's team first, uh, uh, well, second appearance in the 12th region tournament, winning it. So, congratulations, Sweat Region champions, Warriors of Danville Christian. What Whitaker. I didn't quite understand, the girls were wearing red, white, and blue jerseys in the 12th Region Tournament. The yeah. boys have got a completely different yeah. color scheme going, going with on. that old Michigan Wolverine look right here. The deep navy with the yellow the and white. The girls look more like the Harlem Globetrotters. Whitaker for a long two. His foot was on the line. Rebound comes away to IA. Gets it to Emmanuel Duke. Duke now goes right. Finds Boyd in the corner. Boyd, back to Duke. Down low to IA. Man, he catches it with two hands. Catches the ball with two hands. They're going to say it's out of bounds, and it's going to go jumpers. He's got to keep it up high right there. I, there's not much you can do. Yeah. 
with that size disadvantage if he just keeps it high. But he brought it down. Shout out to Grundy using some hands there. Big time shot blockers, athletic team. You're going to call an offensive foul here. Maybe, Maybe Whitaker away from or the ball. Grundy away from the ball, number 10. Well, Grundy made a great play on one end and a costly mistake on the other end. First foul for Grundy in this contest. And this is Boyd letting the ball roll up. Two minutes, 50 seconds. It's been a fast first quarter, Dalton. A lot faster oh, than that. Oh, he's going to let it go for three. That's a Tine. Oh, oh big rebound by IA. IA finds Duke. He's going to throw it up to a Tine. Fade away jumper. Nothing you can do. Dude off the glass. It's good. What a sequence there. Looks like the big guys like to fall away there. I'd like to see him draw some contact. Yeah. But they can't hit the three. I saw him do it against Wayne County here on Thursday night. Lewis is going to pop Lewis an open three. No, that's his second attempt. No good. Titus Boyd finds Duke. Duke is cooking right now with gas with a head full of steam. Gets IA off the glass. It's good. All right, y'all. We're going to take a moment to hear from our sponsors. Tucker's Precision Lawn Care and Pressure Washing can do it all, such as mowing, landscaping, pressure washing, snow removal, Christmas light installation, and junk removal. We are fully insured. Give them a call at 606-425-2580. That's 606-425-2580. is going to walk it up for the jumpers and Coach Young's team. It's hard to hear anything in this building. Yeah. Maybe. It's hard right, to hear us at home as well. Godby lets it go for a long two. No good. Rebound on the offside is Boyd. It's like we got a substitution for Somerset. Bartley into the ball game. Don't have a lot of depth, so. Yeah, Bartley normally a starter here, so we're going to see what he can give you on the boards. Rebounding camp it was costly for the, the jumpers there. Looks like foul Bart away from the basket. Bartley just disposed of his guys yes, there on the IA. floor. IA hit the deck. Well, Inbounding the ball is Titus Boyd. If, it, if his role is physicality, Bartley definitely yeah. brought in on that right IA there. IA catches it, gets it out to Fugate. Fugate on the floor, guarded by a young Josh Lewis. Titus Boyd going to walk it out to Emmanuel Duke. Duke gets the call. Drives in on Absher off balance. And they're going to call him for traveling. All right. I'm, it looked like Duke just kind of got lost. Didn't really know what he was going to do. You got to you gotta make that decision before yeah. you ever pick the ball up, especially in a postseason play. Both teams locked in early here defensively. The jumpers trying to throw a zone at DCA. Whitaker is going to hit the three, but they're going to call a foul away from the basket here. Yeah, a moving a little screen on Josh Lewis. Here, Brandon. The fouls on consecutive possessions here getting a little sloppy. And, you know, that's a, that's a freshman mistake. Josh Lewis coming in, moving on that screen, and He's going to learn. Big no, experience for no that young man. No better way to grow up than being in 12th region semifinal. Dude, wide open for three. Got a 3-2 zone coming at you from the jumpers. Looks Dude like some looking down there. low for I, uh, Tine, thrown away. Good good play by Barley. That looked like Zach Anderson coming in from behind and, and knocking the ball yeah. away from the taller Big defender. Big time plays. Here is Whitaker to add, uh, Bartley. Bartley looks like Antonio Reeves with yeah, those pink shoes right Man, there. Yes. Absher thought about the three, goes baseline, kicks it back out to Lewis. Met by Boyd. Boyd steals it. He's off and running. Lays it up for his seven footer. Footer lost the balance. That's a Tine with the foul and the basket. 
That looked like a great pass right there, yeah. but it didn't look like uh, big the big lob. man was ready to sky for the lob. Yeah, it looked like he might have had a jumper right underneath him there. Didn't want to want to save his knees a little bit. But, you know, you get the basket and the contact, so. Wow, look at uh, James Murray coming through with the dudes. Got the lob game. wire and Baja Blasts. Yeah, like I said, Trent Miller over at PepsiCo must be hooking Mr. Murray up. Just like your commercial, man, you're having a blast. Josh or Aiden Absher brings it up. Foul right here. What are they going to call? Looks like Duke maybe away or. I missed that commercial we used to run. I think it was last season when the guy was eating the fried chicken. And the only thing that could make it better was a nice cold Pepsi. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the only thing that can make it the better. The only wow. thing. Whitaker, deep three. Didn't draws draw nothing. anything there. All right, let's, let's take it to our sponsors once again. Into one, 14 to 5, DCA. A lot of people go to where they bank their whole life. They put in that mortgage application and they get a rejection letter, but they don't get a why. They don't get that 20 minute phone call from their lender to explain the obstacles that are in their way, what those obstacles are and how they can overcome them, what they could have done differently in the process. And they don't understand that they have options. Our job is to educate you on those options. Our job is to learn you, to identify the obstacles in your path, make a plan, execute it, and get you over the finish line of homeownership. We're back at Pulaski County Gym. It's Dalton Murray. It's Brandon Foister, Maroon Sports Network. First, first quarter in the books in our second game of our semifinal of the Boys Swath Region Tournament. 14 to 5, all Danville Christian. Seemed like offensively they were slow to get their looks in this zone that the jumpers are throwing at them. But they got uh, settled in pretty quickly and made some athletic plays at the basket. Yeah, right now the size advantage is definitely apparent for DCA. Uh, they are just All right, here we go. We are back here second quarter Somerset DCA Absher off the curl screen shoots a three. It's big a what Dalton the three minute spurt of no offense for the jumpers yeah Big so, Somerset didn't have a lot going there at the end of the first quarter but they come out of that timeout coach Young had a good set for a wide open three that's exactly what the Briar jumpers need Duke with the basketball two three by the jumpers or three two it looks like switching Whitaker's going to go on Fugate. Boyd gets it to Fugate on the right side. Fugate hands it back to Boyd. Boyd to the top of the key to Duke. Wide open for three. Squares his feet. It's good. He is so tough, Brandon. They're daring him to take it. So, Dalton, when you got an open shot, you take it. Hey, you dare him to take it. He's just going to make it. Manuel Duke, big play right there. Young man the other night in the auditorium said, you speak Swahili, and I said, Jumbo. <laughs> Love that young man. Great personality. Great, Bilingual great young man from DCA. Uh, ball, oh, look at that hustle there for the and ball. Oh, Josh on the floor Lewis, Lewis ripped that oh, I'm sorry, a Absher has it. Here comes Grundy. He's going to go baseline, kicks it back to Absher for another three. It's good. That was all Josh Lewis right there. He yeah. put his body on the line to die for that ball. The freshman making a play in the semifinals. Diving on the floor right there is Ben Godby. He's got his hands full as he's guarding Atenye. Grundy's going to guard Aye. My man Hunter Brumley wants to see a dunk. Who's going to do it Godby for him? Ben Godby? Guard, yeah, Godby comes out to guard Boyd now. It's a 3-2-3 three, three zone. Boyd goes in, moves his feet a little bit. They're going to call a foul on the floor. That was a pretty late whistle right there, I believe. Somerset and fans not fans happy. Are upset. I thought it was pretty late there. And Titus Boyd's going to go to the line. And he's got a lot facing him behind the, his basket that he's shooting at. It looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And Second foul on Grundy. Looks like Bartley's going to come to relieve him. And that's huge. We said a Somerset team that's lacking depth. Now you're down another option as one of your guys has got two quick fouls, much like Zach Anderson did for PC. Free throw rims out. 
How big was Foster Fraley in that mm. first game? Man. What a three in the first quarter. He had to put up a lot of minutes. A lot of minutes. Ab uh, Lewis drives right, met by two footers. Whitaker off the screen for three. It's good. That looks like Rob Dillingham coming off a curl, one foot. Maybe a little Jesse Neal on that three. Big off balance three for you. Indrid Whitaker. Duke, he's going to let it go wide open. In and out. IA back to Atine. He can't get it to go. Rebound Whitaker. Whitaker's going to bring it up. Tense in here, Brandon. That yeah, is chippy, very chippy. Lewis wide open for three, lets it go, draws nothing. Absher finds the rebound. Whitaker deep. deep NBA three. three. Might have been out of range there. Godby gets it. Back to Lewis, back to Whitaker. Coach Young says, let's slow it down and run our stuff, guys. Yeah, that, that looked like Jimmer for death pulling yeah. up from the maroon line there. Godby's got the ball with a head full of steam, goes to the basket. He's blocked. DCA fans wanted a walk there. They are up and on. And the jumpers are jumping right back into this game. Found themselves down early. Couple of big offensive possessions from Absher and Whitaker. And you're back in it. Free throw by Godby. No good. Ooh. Godby, Godby, a good free throw shooter. Surprises me to see him rim one out here. Big miss for Somerset in the early game. Yeah, it was. Second free throw. 12th Legion Player of the Year. He's got to get going for the Briar yeah. Jumpers to have a chance. Got to get him one. cooking. Yeah, absolutely. You're right, Dalton. You're absolutely right. He's got his hands full defensively. I Trying think he'll turn it on. He's check. Ben Godby's a PTP. -er. Absolutely. Here's Fugate. Thought about it. Door. It's a Duke. Ooh. Back to Fugate for three. It's, ooh, misses everything. Fugate runs back. Godby's got it with a head full of steam. He's going to pull up for three. In and out. Rebound comes to Boyd. Boyd's off and running. Boyd's guarded by Lewis. Back to Fugate. Puts it on the floor. Back to IA for three. Oh, my. You ain't going to block that. I was about to say, it looked like these guys' legs were tired with all these air balls, but IA said his legs are perfectly fine. That's a nice shot for the seven-footer. Seven-footer's got touch. Zavonimir Avisic right there. Seven-footer stepping out. <laughs> Here's Godby to the rim. It's good. For Godby. Goal is moving on that end that the jumpers are on. Coach Young pleading for his team to dig in here and play defense. He's getting a warning, warning from the officials. Duke met with contact. Hits there was the deck. a lot there. Here comes Whitaker. Whitaker Godby. to Godby to the basket. Right on cue. He has turned it on since I've called him a PTP, or he's proven it here. 21 Take this Story opportunity to hear from our sponsors. Hungry for a great breakfast or lunch sandwich? Need energy or gas for that commute? Then look no farther than Nelson Valley Grocery, located at 2601 Highway 39 in Somerset, Kentucky. Critics rave about their sausage biscuits, chicken sandwiches, and so much more. Stop by today and you will experience not only great food, but a friendly smile and amazing service. Brandon Forster, we are back. 21-19, 3.48 to go. Somerset found themselves in a nine-point hole to start this quarter, but they've chipped away at this lead, and they've got it down to two yeah. with 3.48 to go. It's been all in their defense. Their offense has come to alive. They've got the ball in the guy's hands that needs to have the ball in Whitaker and Gobby to make a play, but it's all in their defense that they're throwing at Danville Christian. Into the game is number zero. That's Infeld, the younger brother of Luke Infeld, whose dad, Ken Infeld, is here and talked to him the other night. Love that man and his family. And Luke, of course, playing for Asbury right now. Big Luke 12 region. is one of the best players I've ever seen play on this gym. Oh, easily. I mean, he came in here, I mean, and he hands down took over the game. He's not going to get enough credit for what he did, but he's a 12th region baller and a 12th region champ. Luke Infeld, if you're those out there, man, games, love your game. Those two games, the regular season, Boyle versus Plasky, oh, and the 12th region classics, semis, classics. two of the best games we've yeah. ever had the opportunity to call. He uh, elevated his game come tournament time, which a lot of players you don't see do very much. 
So big shout out to Luke Enfeld and his family, Ken Enfeld. So his brother is in the game. Let's talk about him. It's Noah Enfeld. Here is no. a three from Absol. That he pump faked and got two guys in midair right there. That was a sweet pump fake from Absol. Got the jumpers giving him a lead right now. It's a game of runs. We saw it in the first game. Somerset was down nine. You look up, now they're up one with the lead. Luke, uh, Emmanuel Duke with the basketball, guarded by Godby. He's going to dart a bullet pass to Noah Enfeld, who puts it on the floor. Back to IA, back to Fugate. Now to the top of the key to uh, Boyd. Boyd, Titus Boyd, sorry, lost it for a second. Boyd now to Fugate, to Duke, to Enfeld. Back to Boyd, thought about the three. He's going to dribble it out. I'd like to see Fugate. Boyd get to his spot here. We saw it over and over again in that Wayne County game in crunch time. Very patient on this offensive possession. There's Duke for three. No good. He's went a little cold beyond the arc here in the second quarter. The that jumpers was have heated up. And the Warriors of Danville Christian slowing down a little bit. That was a shot that Duke was just stepping into and nailing in that first quarter. Man, Warriors very bothered by that, that jumper zone. God be getting to his spot, guarded by Duke. Gets it to Lewis, back to Whitaker. Whitaker's going to dribble it right side. Gets it to Absher. Absher playing really well this game. Finds Bartley. Back to the young point guard, Lewis. Lewis finds Absher again for three. Let's Ooh, it go. Just Rebound was coming to Duke, but got knocked out of his hands to Boyd. Boyd brings it up. Boyd drives in in a crowd. A lot it up of off contact the glass, there. And he's fouled. Now, I don't know if you saw this. You were probably doing halftime analysis, but they recognize the 12th region uh, all-tournament team. And, you know, these guys are wearing sweatpants or jeans, you know, casual wear. Injured Whitaker was in a suit. Wow. Pre-game, my man brought it. He's like, man, today. I'm doing this. Business trip here to PC wow. Gym. I think I saw him come in behind me in the first game. He was wearing a suit. My man is uh, very business when he comes in, professional, but on the court, hard working, blue collar, getting it done. Injured Whitaker, man. Pulling up from downtown. Both free throws by Boyd is good. It's a one-point lead by Danville Christian, 23, Somerset 22. Maroon Sports Network, thank you all for tuning in tonight, watching the action. May your team win. Good play by Fugate there. He just stepped right in the passing lane and poked it away. Atine gets it to Boyd. Boyd. Slowing it down for Danville Christian. Gets it down to IA. Back to Fugate, back to Duke, back to Boyd for three in stride. Off the rim, rebound at Tine. And they're going to say it's on the floor. That was great ball movement right there. They were swinging it around until they got a shot that it they liked. The right call because he grabbed the ball with two hands. Uh, it was a good rebound by Atine. Well, if you just heard the decibels rise about 100, some fans were not very happy no, with that call no, no. at all. Rebound, IA, definitely oh. fouled. Definitely pushed on that one. Maybe Bartley on that one they're going to get? I think that was Bartley. It's his third foul in the second quarter as Cole Grundy's going to check back into the game for Somerset. Bartley's definitely bringing the physicality this ball game. He's a bruiser. Atine, first free throw's good. Extends the Danville Christian lead to two. Somerset bringing in Collier White into the ball game, the senior. You know, I see some Wayne County players behind me. I might ask them if they want to join us at halftime. Hey, let's do Dunford it. Dunford and uh, Kendall Phillips. Two. Seth Farmer. Those are some great ball players right yeah. there. Yeah. I'm I, I they really got. thought they were going to pull it out Thursday night. I thought we'd be seeing yeah, them playing they, right boy, now. Boy, the red and white, they're here tonight, and they were so heartbroken. They so wanted to see their guys play one more night here. That would have been a heck of a ball game, too, Wayne County mm. and Somerset, if it happened. Absher with the ball. He's been red hot this half, guarded by a Atene. They're going to try to slow him down. Big defensive switch and assignment here. 
Stolen away now by Fugate. He's going to turn up the jumpers over. Walk They're the going for steps. Calling the walk. Fugate said he was met with contact, but took one too many steps. That was a good defensive play, but I think that was a double Euro right there. Godby all the way up in full front court. He's going to pull up for three. Oh. In and out. Play there, right before halftime. Good momentum shift right there. Let's take a word from our sponsors, and we'll see you on the other side. Halftime analysis. On the day of the fire, I had left that morning to fly to Boston. My alarm system was not even on. It wasn't even activated at the time, but yet the smoke detector went off and signaled our neighborhood fire department automatically and when they walked up there they told me they said your house was just minutes away from being fully engulfed because it had gone up the walls it was on the ceiling the, it was going down in the carpet but they got there so fast because of the system notified them it saved my the rest of my house and my three dogs were in there it saved my dogs i'm extremely grateful for my silent guard system i don't know where we would be without it it, it saved everything that day Do you want to go to college, but you don't have a way to pay for it? Do you have a passion for working with your hands or learning a trade skill or even starting a STEM career? The Kentucky Army National Guard will pay 100% of your trade school or college and will give you real life experience while you're getting paid. Are you self-employed, own your own business, or just pay an outrageous amount of money for health, dental, or life insurance? The Kentucky Army National Guard provides all of these and more with TRICARE Select Reserve at a better than affordable rate. Are you someone that is interested in serving your country in the military, but you want to stay closer to home? The Kentucky Army National Guard allows you to live here and serve here. Serve part-time in our community one week in a month and two weeks during the summer. Contact Staff Sergeant Sebastian Road now to learn more at 606 269 Two four five zero Kentucky Army National Guard for you. Time of our second game of the semifinals here tonight at Pulaski County Gym, and it is nothing short of a classic as the Jumpers and Danville Christian find themselves in a fight. But man, here's a guy I want to take with me in a fight. He can lace it up with me, Kenny, any single day. Wayne County's own Antoine Dumpert is joining us. Antoine, how's it going, man? It's going very well. Uh, um, we didn't win it. We didn't beat Danville Christian. It was a close game, but. Uh, I'm glad I get to come here and watch this one right here. It's a, probably a better game than we had, so I like this one. <laughs> competitor, a competitor at heart. Kenny, Antoine here. Just talk to us here a little bit from what you see. And, Antoine, we're going to come back to you and talk to you about uh, a reflection on your season and what to expect for Wayne County basketball going forward. But, hey, in this game right here, guys, rebounds, defense, everything slowed down, and what was the difference? If I had this guy right here to go get me a couple of rebounds, I would do it. All right? So tell me about it. What's going to be the keys in the second half? Well, I'll tell you right now, uh, Somerset's supporting cast, as we, like, we talked about Aiden Absher, he's had two threes and that put back there. I mean, that's eight points in a 25-24 game. Somerset has to stay close. you got to want to have a chance in this game. DCA, they're going to feel better if they extend the lead. When it's a close game, there's pressure. Yeah. Somerset has no pressure, like we talked about. They're the underdogs. So they're playing with what they call house money. But real quick, I want to talk about Mr. Antoine Dumpert here. Stud football player. Best, listen, one of the best wide receivers in the 12th region. I, I've seen him. I've seen him yeah, I, I, two years ago, right? QB. But I've, I've seen him take over games at the wide receiver. Running back. Uh, I watch you single. He does everything. And then, you know, what he does on the basketball floor. And, and listen, we got a huge announcement right here. 12th Region Sports All-Star Game, March 28th, 29th. Mr. Dufford has decided that he's going to be in the dunk contest. So, but anyway, let's, let's talk about you. Uh, this game's going to be a close one. It's going to be good all the way down to the end. Experience matters. Yes. Experience matters. But anyway, I'll let uh, Forster ask the questions from here on out. All right, Antoine, again, you know, we, 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 your teammates, your team, you came up a little short. You all were peaking right here at March, right when it settled in. Kenny and I called your game the other night in the second half in overtime, and one thing that we just saw that struck right out off to the court was your competitiveness. 
this man. When the game got ready, some people like to fold. You're clapping your hands. You're into it. Saw your dad pumping his fist from the stands. You had your team pumped up. It was an exciting matchup because of your intensity. Never lose that. Talk to me about where you get that intensity from. Well, really, I get all that intensity from just being a competitor, especially at football field and coming out here on the basketball court. Um, I don't like losing. I don't think nobody in the 12 inches don't like losing. So there you go. just like I always got to have that fire because, like, I'm one of the people that brings up our team. Like, when we're low, I got to be the one to boost us up and let us get going. And then it causes us to have a good game towards the end. We didn't come out where we wanted, but uh, we fought to the end, and I'm proud of my guys for doing that. Me and Kitty has talked about this, but I've watched documentaries, and I've watched Magic Johnson. When he got beat by Larry Bird in the finals, he talked about how obsessed he was in the summertime about how he was going to get up early every morning with that on that loss on his mind, and he wasn't about to lose to the Celtics again. Spoilers, he didn't. So talk to me about what that means for you, Antoine, this season in a nutshell, and what that means for you going into the offseason. Well, really, just got to work our butts off, really. We just got to come back ready. Established as a team, we're not we're not gonna lose this region next year. We're coming back and we're coming back hungry. We're coming to get a championship. Kenny, Kenny, I love it. I ain't listening. Listen, I'll, I'll take him on my team any day of the week. And now, listen, we got a term for that in 12th regular sports. It's called dog. D A W G. Dog. You gotta have dogs to win tough, close games. Wayne County's future is super bright. They're returning their whole team for the most part starter, I think. They got the size. They're well coached. They understand how to play the game. They got a guy that's not afraid of nobody. And the first time they played DCA, I had DCA. I really felt he was the only, and this is no disrespect, I felt like he was the only player from Wayne County that wasn't intimidated that night. Now, the other night, I felt like the whole team come and, and fed off his energy early. So, um, we're looking forward to watching you play football and basketball. So, you know what? One, what's great about it too is what you just said, but when I go and find him in the stands, he's sitting with all of his teammates, Kenny. I love that. What can you say about your teammates real quick? Uh, my guys, they're always there for me, so uh, I'm always have them back. They're always going to have mine. We're just like a family as a team, so it's not really like a team. We're more of a family. So, like, whenever one guy's got a problem, we all handle it together. So, we're there for each other no matter what. That's what I love about my team. I love that. Real quick, I'm going to take a shot. Is Kendall wearing skinny jeans? <laughs> Second half, I got Antoine Dufford and Kenny. Hey, second half is going to be a classic. Stick around, Murray Sports Network. We see you, the moms, the dads, on the road, in the office, at the work site, putting in as much time and energy during the five to nine as you did during the nine to five. Let us help you take the next step toward improving your career. Lindsay Wilson College offers flexible options to continue your educational journey. A reduced tuition rate is available for students who take classes 100% online and for those who choose to attend LWC's hybrid program at their local community college campus. Earn a bachelor's degree in human services and counseling, business administration, criminal justice, or let us help you design a degree that fits your goals with LWC's interdisciplinary studies option. You will be supported on every step of your LWC journey with the help of a dedicated success coach and a local LWC representative. We know you want more. Take the next step with LWC. Visit us at online.lindsay.edu. Financial aid is still available. Charles Cromer and family is proud to call Pulaski County home and has for over four generations. To say he has a vested interest in taking care of Pulaski Countyans could not be more true. So stop by 705 West Highway 80 for all of your insurance needs. And remember, you truly are in good hands with Charles Cromer Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Crane and Boom Services of Kentucky. Whether it's trusses, air conditioner unit, swimming pool insert, hot tub, signs, flagpole lifted, or a grain bin moved. If you can't lift it, Josh can. Remember, Crane and Boom Services of Kentucky for all of your lifting needs. No job too big or small, 
Crane and Boom comes 100% recommended by Maroon Sports Network. So call 606-305-1832 and ask for Josh. Crane and Boom. Come visit the professionals at Fox Total Car Care for all your car service needs, including tire sales, installations, brakes, alignment, and more. Tucker's Precision. PC one and the winner of this game is gonna uh, take on a hard challenge of PC next, uh, actually tomorrow. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the halftime segment with Brandon Foister, Kenny G, and Antoine Dumford. Dumford's a really good player on the basketball court and the football field. DCA with the possession now going left to oh right. Boy, it's a two-way. Emmanuel with the ball over to Leak, yep. back to Emmanuel. Skip past the boy, left-handed three, three. Bang. bottoms. That was a swish. Let's see how Somerset can respond. They were down big in the first uh, quarter, I believe, and they were able to come back from a, that deficit pretty easily. So we'll see how the rest of this plays out. Somerset's ability to shoot the ball is the reason they're in this ball game, as they have to bring DCA size out of the paint. And Aiden Absher, he had 14 points at halftime. Whitaker with the ball near midcourt. Over to Absher. One more pass to Josh Lewis. Reverse to Grundy. Screen got to be over to Absher. Absher working off the screen. Three pointer, no good. Rebound, Grundy. One more to Whitaker. Whitaker drives. Stop. Bounce pass. Oh. Almost tipped away from a DCA. Grunny for three. Good. Wow. Somerset fans are very vocal. They stand up and block my vision from the court every time uh, their team hits a shot. So it's going to be a little annoying. Flash the high post. One dribble left hand. Switch to the right. Ah. No good. Rebound Lewis. Over to Absher. Don't leave him open like three. that. Ah. In and out. Rebound Warriors. Boyd with the dribble. Tries to get past it. Whitaker. He has stopped. Over Fugate. Back to Boyd. DCA will slow things down and really value this possession. High post. Oh. Looked I, like he wanted a lob there as he hit out the front I don't of the rim. Know what he was Bounce wanting. pass. That's a kickball. Back just... to Godby. Euro. Oh my denied. God. Godby just got sent to the metaverse. How is that not a foul? Somerset basketball. All right, that was a wild 30 seconds. I feel like that game should have been stopped for at least something that happened. We would like to thank nearly, we would like to thank the hundreds of people that are watching this broadcast all across the region and all across the state and country. Godby. Pump fake. Dream shake fader. Back rim. Rebound. Saved. Saved by, by the Warriors. Boyd does the stop. Pull up at midi. Wet. That's a nice player. He has a great left hand. He reminds me of uh, James Harden and the late great president John F. Kennedy. Grundy with the ball. Hand off Whitaker. Whitaker on Boyd. Over to Absher in the corner. No oh, good. After stroke seems to be a little off. Since, Weak stroke uh, game here early in the third. <laughs> Whoa! Boy is tripping over the over to Fugate, on Fugate. the baseline. Way up, good. <laughs> Somerset needs a team. Somerset needs a team. Timeout, Coach Ryan Young. The Warriors are up 32-27. It's the new year, new you, but by February, you give up. 
Let affordable medical weight loss centers of Kentucky help you achieve your goal. No dieting, no exercise, just results. With America's number one weight loss supplement, semaglutide or terzepatide, and weight loss sculpting by Invisa Red. A weight loss breakthrough that finally works. This year take charge and transform your life with our services. Visit us today at affordable medical weight loss centers of Kentucky. the winner of the 12th region tournament Thursday March 21st at 6 o'clock at Rupp Arena. Absher dribble screen by Grundy. Whitaker in rhythm. Back rim. No good. Rebound tapped away by Emmanuel and he's got it. Whoa. Throws it away. Still by Lewis. Skip past the Grundy in the corner. One dribble. Dump down. Ben usually shoots that. God be hesitated on that low block post. Most likely because of the size of Ayayi. Four minutes, 13 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. DCA up five. Fugate with the ball. Will run the offense. Guarded by Lewis. Over to Boyd. Boyd will dribble near midcourt and get the sign from Coach. Left hand dribble over to Fugate. As Emmanuel flashes to the high post, they do not look at him. Boyd trying to get to his spot, will get fouled. That's Indrid's first foul. Safe to say he isn't getting it uh, fouled out tonight. <clears throat> Boyd, second free throw. It is good. NFL updates, if you wanted any. The Baltimore Ravens are the current favorite to land Titans' Derrick Henry. He is a free agent this offseason. Abs are trying to get things going. He has gotten the primary ball handling responsibility here in the second half. Handed off to Godby, guarded closely. Hand off Whitaker. Screen, Grundy. Whitaker tries to get to the block. Skip past Godby for three. Good. That cut DCA's lead to just three, 33-30. Whenever DCA starts to get a five to six point lead, Somerset comes down and hits a big shot. That's why they're still in this ball game. Fugate, left hand, go to the switch to the oh. right, air ball, catches nothing. That is last touch by Somerset. DCA will inbound under the basket. Leak is checking back in for DCA. Titus Boyd to inbound. Fugate in the corner, will shoot it fading away, back rim. Rebound Leak. rebound by Leak. Back out to... Uh, Ay -ay. Back to Dutt. <sighs> Off the screen, sizing to the Good rim. Good move. Good lay. <laughs> Briar jumpers down five. Whitaker with the ball. Bounce pass Grundy. Over to Absher. Grundy sets the screen. Absher open but does not shoot. Godby. Pump fake. Left hand dribble. Reverse lay. Caught nothing. Rebound for you. Slams the ground in frustration. DCA throws it ahead to the big layup. Way to maintain your balance right there and keep it in for your teammate. That was a good play. Behind the back, good Whitaker, cross, step back, step elbow back jumper. By Indy. Doesn't get Briar it. jumper nation wants a foul. Rebound Lewis. The jumpers will get a fresh clock. Even though there's not a shot clock in high school basketball. I'm sorry. with the ball. If that was Somerset's coach, I want to live and die by the seniors. And one. Big time shot by number 22, Injured Whitaker. 
will go to the line for the four point play. I think Somerset was kind of looking for DCA. They were gonna they were gonna jump. They're gonna be aggressive on the three point shots because they want to contest heavily because that's how Somerset can kind of get their points going. And with doing that, you leave spots open for just careless errors. Whitaker, no good. Rebound, Warriors. He's normally an outstanding free throw shooter. That was a surprise. One could say weak stroke game. Bounce pass, Fugate, he heavily guarded. Pass tipped away by Lewis, DCA basketball. 120 left to go in the third quarter. <coughs> DCA up four. Up to Emmanuel, guarded by Absher, screen. And he will call a push off on I.I. Aye. Second foul on number one from DCA. Something a little jumper, shippy right here. Briar Jumper Nation wants a call, pleading to the far referee. Whitaker, three pointer. No good. In and out. Rebound, Bartley. Recovered by Godby. Over to Josh Lewis. Top of the key, three. No Back good. Back rim. Offensive rebound. And there will be a foul on DCA. Briar Jumpers will have the basketball under the basket. Somerset inbounding with around 50 seconds left in the quarter. Whitaker, Bartley at the free throw line. Lewis back to Whitaker at the logo. Hand off Absher, screen Godby. That's the play you wanted, but uh, Bartley pushed off. What happened to DCA a couple minutes ago, maybe a minute ago, happened just then to Somerset. That's Bartley's third foul as he will go to the bench as Grundy checks in. Those off the ball down screens to get Whitaker or Godby or Absher open are working for the Briar Jumpers. <laughs> Somerset coach Ryan Young with the warning as he is bickering vigorously to the referee. He is still giving it to him. Still giving it to him. As we will play basketball. Young goes back. What a shame to his by seat. Coach Young. Just let the players play. Quick dragging all the attention away from the game. Shout out Colt Measle. Nine seconds to go. DCA will stall ball for the last shot. Top of the corner three, Emmanuel, no good. And that's the end of the third quarter. Daniel Christian, 37, Somerset, 33. 12th Region Sports is a social media sports coverage company that promotes all 12th Region high school athletes. Our goal is to promote and highlight our athletes in a positive way and to acknowledge all their achievements. Here at 12th Sports, we believe in kids first. We believe in building strong relationships with coaches, players, and schools to promote all their programs in a positive light. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Just search for 12th Region Sports Network. At 12th Region Sports, we try to keep it cool, fun, and credible as we try to change the way high school sports is covered. Thank you guys for all your support. We are back at Pulaski County Gym. It's fourth quarter. Eight minutes left to go in this second game of the region semifinals. Somerset battling back. DCA holding on. And it's a contest, Kenny. Yes, I listen. 19's back for the fourth quarter there right you. here. <laughs> Foister and Gooden. Gooden and Foister. But anyway, now listen. You know, Somerset, four point game. You got a chance here, but the pace of the scoring benefits DCA. Like I said, wow. to beat DCA, you got to get to 55 or 60. 
and Somerset's had a chance to close it to one or even take the lead in a few mistakes here and there. And it's eager to see who, uh, if Somerset can shoot the ball well enough to win this one. Who has the legs? It's winning time, and it's Josh Lewis, freshman point guard for the jumpers, with the ball. Hands off to Ingrid Whitaker. Cooled off a little bit in that third quarter. Cole Grundy with three fouls gets it to Lewis. Lewis looking down low to Godby, right man to have the ball. 12th region player of the year, eyeing up Emmanuel Duke, pulls up over him. Too short, rebound's going to come to Titus Boyd. Right now, you want to look, you, you, you would like to see Injury get a few open looks. You know, he hit a three-year while ago that it was called off because of an offensive foul, or uh, moving screen. You definitely want the ball, you want Injured Whitaker to get some shot, open shots here. He's not had many open shots at all in this game. Fugate with the ball to Duke. Duke high up to Atine. Too high as Godby gets it. Turnover Warriors. Here comes the jumpers. Tipped out of bounds. Deflected. Ball's going to stay with the jumpers. Ben you know, Godby. in the third quarter, I thought Somerset played really well. They just didn't make some shots. And yeah. you, you got to make shots to beat DCA. And you've got them in striking distance, you know, to not shoot the ball well and be down four. It's a 50-50 it's a roll of the dice here. Here is Cole Grundy looking down low. Nobody in there finds Whitaker off the curl screen. Whitaker guarded by Titus Boyd. Finds Absher, who was red hot in that first half. Yes. Back to Lewis. Lewis curl screen pass here to Godby. Godby goes to the glass. Hi off the glass too high as Emmanuel Duke goes up and gets the rebound gets it to his guard and you know that's the thing that DCA people don't understand the length you know any other time that's Thank two you. points for uh, Ben Gobby but he had to throw it so high, go high on the board Fugate wide open shoulder square for three misses long or short back to Boyd is Duke is the three in and out Aye gets the ball and scores you got a rebound and almost a turn over here as Boyd uh, deflected the ball. Whitaker picks it up to Absher. Absher kicks it out to Grundy for three. No good. Rebound IA. He took a shot to the face on that one. And let's now listen right there for a few minutes. Those 30 seconds there, Somerset looked like they got a little flustered a little bit. You want to take every possession matters in this fourth quarter. You want to take good shots. Every, right. you have the, and the right people shooting those shots. Get into your offense, run your stuff, do what got you here. Boyd has it, guarded by freshman Lewis. Cross court pass to Fugate. Fugate looks down low, nothing there, gets it back to Boyd. Boyd cross court to Duke. Duke puts it on the floor, goes to the basket, met with contact. And that was a, I mean, that was a big man's move yeah, right, yeah, there, right there, Kenny. I tell you what. You probably, Grundy could have possibly took a charge there. Right. Absolutely. Force the stripes to make a call. Especially right now when you're down, you need to make something happen defensively. Do at the line. First free throw's good. Extends the lead for Danville Christian Warriors. This guy came and talked to you the other night, Kenny, at the post game, and uh, he is a... He is a stud, well-rounded yes. young man, talks really well. He asked us, can we speak Swahili? And we said, Jumbo. <laughs> yeah. Young man. They, yeah. they're, they're, all those kids are really good kids yeah. there, and they just want to win basketball yeah. games, you know. His face lit up with a smile. He uh, uh, he loves this. Yeah. But he, anyway, here's Whitaker, guarded. Oh, off the glass as it was rejected. That's, it's, that's what you talked about. Yeah, that's so, what you got to think about when you go in. Foul on the floor. You got to get DCA in foul trouble, and you got to attack, 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 attack. They're so good at help side defense, and it's just like that right there. I mean, I've seen four or five blocks tonight. They wasn't just blocks; they were volleyball spikes, just right off the glass. They did that the other night to Wayne County a couple times at pivotal moments of the game. Uh, that's what they do. High pass to Godby as he's met with Duke on the ground. Duke all over him, knows what bubble gum he's chewing. Here's Absher, dribble drive handoff to Whitaker. Whitaker with the ball off the screen. Met with three defenders. Finds Lewis on the baseline. Back to Absher, wide open for three. In and out, can't find it. Rebound almost went to IA. Back to Lewis, long two. Looks like a long two. Uh, you know what, I, I, I just, my first thought was when he called it, he shot it, and I was like, oh, man, I don't know. Yeah. And then he went in. Listen, when it goes good in, shot. it's never a bad shot. There you go, yeah. 
Big shot by Lewis to kind of break that spell that uh, to keep the Warriors alive. Timeout for Danville Christian as Coach Don Story wants to talk it over with his group. That Somerset actually called that timeout. Oh, Ryan Young and the jumpers with timeout. My apologies. We're keeping it here with both bands playing uh, right behind our heads. As the jumper faithful are here and they are alive, or as they feel like they're alive, down four with less I, than five to play. We might have to talk to Coach Miller. He put DCA and Somerset on the same side of the floor. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tough in here. It's uh, almost reminiscent of last Thursday, but not as quite, but we'll see. Listen, this is a four-point game with five left, ten, you know, 450 left to go. Somerset right now needs to focus on getting some stops and getting good looks, getting good shots. DCA, you just want to do what you do. You know, take a good shot, possibly get the rebound. I think, I don't know how many offensive boards they have, but it seems like they have 10 offensive rebounds. That's big. That's big at this time of the game. And right now, uh, Somerset's going to extend their defense as the DCA Warriors brings it across the timeline. Fugate met with the double team. Gets it to Duke. Duke up high to a teenage. Too high as Lewis comes away with it. Kicks it up to Gopi. Two-hand jam. That's a, a two-point game. <laughs> Somerset coming alive right now. Turning up their defense. Duke goes up. Lays it up. In and out. Rebound, IA can't get it to go. A teammate with the rebound, puts it up and in. See, three offensive rebounds, one possession. That good things happen when you rebound the ball. Danville Christian calling for defense. Whitaker off the screen, finds Lewis. Back to Whitaker. They're not Whitaker giving Whitaker much Duke. room. Duke the screen now it's Fugate chasing down Absher Whitaker oh thought about letting it go he hesitated just for a second he's think long think wrong you gotta be ready to pull he's gonna be dribbling off of Boyd there and it is Lewis back to Whitaker deep NBA three in and out rebound back to Absher back to Lewis is gonna let it go blocked by a teenage Godby's got it Somerset fighting Ryan Young Pleading for his guys to run their offense. Somerset comes alive. 42-38, three minutes. Fans are on their feet. Hard to see the action as Bartley right now dribbles. Back out to the top of the key, back to Bartley. He's going to put it off the glass, met and rejected. That's a big time block, Kenny. Yes, that was huge. I get caught up in watching the game. I, I just I lost, I, I become a fan there for a minute. Fugate. Rushing it, gets it out to IA, back to Titus Boyd. Going in, they're going to say it's off his legs. Or it's going to stay with Dable Christian. Man, when you need it to stop. I will, I'm going to go ahead and, and say uh, I, I'm totally unbiased, right? Right. But that was a missed call. Yeah, it went off. It looked like it leg. rolled off the shin if they were going to make a no call on Boyd's drive. Anyway, it rolled off his shin out of bounds. But, but in their defense, I don't think they saw it. I, yeah. They don't have the same, you know, I have, perception I have. Nobody underneath the goal to see it. But now, listen, if you're DCA, you got the ball. 2.41 to go here. You would like to get, you want a good possession. If you don't score two points, you want to run some clock anyway. Make this a 30, 45 second possession possibly. When you needed a defensive stop, boy, IA and Atina went up and made it happen. That block was strong and you could hear it across the gym off the glass of Bartley. Letting, reminding everyone in the 12th region, no, you don't drive in here without being met with something. So, big time play. Somerset coming out of the timeout. See who gets the ball. 12th region basketball. It's a great atmosphere. And uh, two Both minutes teams. and 41 seconds. Both teams competitive, uh, competitive here. Really competing, wanting it. 
really liked the words of Antoine Dumper when he was talking to us at halftime. He's like, I want to come back to this thing, and I want to win it. And that's exactly what you want in a competitor. Duke grabs it in the backcourt in the inbounds pass, and he's going to bring it up guarded by Absher between the legs. He drives left, finds Ia in the corner. Ia looking back to Duke. Duke drives right, carries it to the hoop and scores, and he got flipped by Godby. Met with a lot of contact. He had to make a big play right there. If you're Somerset, you definitely need to try to get two here or a basket of any type. Whitaker, deep three. Fugate off Titus Boyd's long rebound off the miss. And Fugate's driving, fouled by Whitaker. A little bit of a frustration foul there, but yeah, absolutely. They, you know they do need to get close to the bonus if it turns into a a, a, a foul free throw shot type of game. Door Dan here, and a timeout. Somerset. We're going to keep it right here. It's Maroon Sports Network. Kenny G from 12th Region Sports. Brandon Foister at Maroon Sports Network. It's James Murray running around in the background, but our wonderful production crew of Logan Stamper. Our wonderful production crew from Lily, Carol, Jacob, and of course, Aiden, my man Seth Kissinger. Looks like Big Mike is in the house, and our man Aiden running the cameras. Noah Cecil in the production house. They're making this happen so you guys can watch this at home. So we thank our students for making this happen always and their hard work and dedication. Always love what they do. Young out of this timeout. Got to get a basket. We've really got to get a stop here. So we're yeah. going to find out who he goes with in this crunch time. Yeah, again, you know, your DCA, you want a, you want a good – I mean, I imagine DCA is going to try to play keep away a little bit here and, and make you foul them and put them to the free throw line. And it's been Emmanuel Duke taking care of the basketball tonight here in this fourth quarter for DCA. Fugate's going to be inbounding. A buck 57 left to go. Who's going to advance to the regional championship game? High pass out of bounds. Turnover. Huge turnover. Boyd says, my bad, but ball's but going to be swung back you, to Somerset. You, Somerset has to capitalize on the turnovers. They've had two or three possessions. They've not scored. You know, yeah. at the point where there was a two-point game, they've not scored. Makes a difference. Godby's got the ball. Stolen away, and here's Fugate. Running to the rim. He's met with contact by Whitaker, they're going to say. And he's going to go to the line and shoot. It's hard. It's hard to turn when you're in the, in the in, inside the three-point line and it's crowded like that. It's hard to turn your back because someone can come up from behind you and back tip it there. Ben Godby. There, there's a, another empty possession where they get the turnover and they don't score. Ooh, Fugate too hard on the first attempt. Ben Gobby's back to the basket game. Costly turnover there. A hardest shot in the game right now. Yep. Free throw in the region in the region game. Ooh, another miss, but he gets his own rebound. Fugate. They're gonna say timeout time DCA. Smart call. Try to slow it down. Two missed free throws, and then running down your your rebound is uh, that. Thing. You gotta get you. There, you have to have that rebound. Yeah. The shooter, the shooter got the rebound. Kenny, it looks like Somerset is uh, really gassed right now. They're playing a rotation of five guys. Yeah, they, they look like they're a little tired. And then you know, listen, when your legs go, it's hard to make shots. Yeah. And they made, and that's what DCA does. DCA makes you earn everything that you get. Like I said, there, there's no easy layups because when you get around one guy. You got to deal with the Twin Towers. The second one, yeah, and that's been so uh, demoralizing at some of those baskets that they could have had close to the rim. Met with big rejections, letting you know that they're there. IA and a 10 8 man, they just fill in so well. They block and they defend so well. DCA's got the ball. Hand off to Titus Boyd. Boyd's met by Whitaker. That could be his fourth. That's his fourth. And. Let's see. Big. So that's the fifth team foul. It's going to send Titus Boyd and DCA to the line. But 37, Boyd 
Mm, still can't hit connect on these free throws. You know, again, like I said, it, but it, it's okay. You get you gotta have points on the other end. The empty possessions kill them. Yep. Next free throws up. It's good. Seven point lead extension for DCA. Absher brings it up. You want to score pretty quick here if you can. Godby met by Duke. Comes off the screen. Back to Lewis. Lewis thought about letting it go. Whitaker. Fouled in the backcourt by, looks like they're going to call that on Titus Boyd. His second, excuse me. Ooh. Intercepted out of bounds. It's going to stay with Somerset. Oh, as it went off the knees of Atine. Man, I'll tell you, it's that <laughs> a long arms. He, Man, those cross court passes you got to think about. He looked like he was open, and then at the last minute, you, you see him come over. And Whitaker, NBA three. No good. Tracked down by Absher. Absher's looking. Deflected as Atine. He's got it. Gets it to Duke. Lays it up as he's fouled and he goes to the floor. Duke got thrown pretty hard there as he's yep. picked up by his... And that's a good foul, a good clean yeah. foul there. Yeah. You don't want to give up the layup. Yeah, big, big defensive. Atine's defense on the, on the wing has been yeah. impressive right here for DCA. Steps out there, gets in the passing lanes, makes things hard, hard to shoot over him, hard to dribble around him when his hands are so active. Here's Duke, first free throw, no good. Still, that separation not quite there that you could have. Uh, yeah, I know I keep saying it, but the, I think DCA scored. Duke misses And they got the rebound. Tine. It's the rebound. Back to Fugate. They're going to foul him. Godby fouls him in the backcourt. Two rebounds. I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's twice, you know, they went over two from the free throw line and got their own rebound. Big time. Hey, and you, you'll, you'll be able to go back and watch the film and see really easily where the game was won and lost. Atina, or IA is going to come out in the backcourt. Fugate hits his first free throw, makes the lead eight for DCA. Second free throw is up, rims around, and it rolls in. Nine-point lead for the Warriors of DCA. As Boyd comes around and slaps Whitaker from behind, they're going to call a foul. 59 seconds. Team fourth. Duke kicks the ball that was bent for Whitaker. But now I've seen crazier things happen. So you got a nine point game here. You got to get a shot up quick, oh. And we got a foul away from the ball. They're going to call Duke for holding. Whistles are getting tight here in the under a minute left to go. <laughs> ben Godby inbounding the ball for Somerset, finds Lewis. Lewis goes baseline, thought about it, jumps from behind, blocked by a teammate. There's not much you can do on that one. No, Try, you know, no, no, that's a freshman mistake there. Ben Godby now inbounding the ball again. Defense have been real frustrating here. That's been on them here in this fourth quarter. It's clamped down on them pretty good. Whitaker bounces it off the foot of Boyd, picks it up, leans in for a three. They're going to call Boyd on the foul. Yeah, DCA is asking for an over the back here, but I think it went off somebody's foot. I think it went off somebody on Denver Christian's uh, foot is the reason why Andrew got it. And then he got fouled on a three. If he'd made that for a four-point wow. play, it changes everything. Man, the other night he was red hot when we called the game, Kenny, and now it's... Well, he's just not had too many... Tonight it's just not been easy shots. Yeah. You know, they've not been able to get him open like they usually do. If he's open, it's, it's, it's in. Absolutely. So they're and, and, still in this technically yeah. with the, the missed free throws. It's kind of... And DCL have there. to make free throws to close out here. Next free throw by Whitaker. It's good. Third free throw attempt here by Whitaker. It's good. I imagine you're going to pull. If you're Somerset, you're probably going to pick up full court, try to get turnovers. 
Um, well, you're going to try to get a steal. If you don't get a steal, you're probably fouling right away. Absolutely. Well, six-point lead for DCA here as we are under well, under 50 you know, seconds in this if game. I'm, if I'm Somerset, I, I'm probably looking to foul dude right now, Emmanuel Dude Manny. I, I think Titus, does, if you look at his stats, Titus doesn't look like a great free throw shooter at times, but under a minute to go, he's almost 90%. So you probably want to foul somebody else if you're Somerset. Titus Boyd, of course, was big the other night in the first game in the region tournament for DCA. Has made some big plays tonight where he's been the uh, winner of 50-50 balls. Brought the ball up the court for DCA at some pivotal times here. Somerset down by six. You're two possession game, two threes. But you got to get two stops at the same time. So folks, buckle in. We're 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 not out of this. This is going to be a uh, long 43 seconds. As I'm sure Somerset's going to play the foul game here. Inbounding the ball is Fugate for DCA. Full court press right here by Somerset. Boyd gets it. He's met with a double team. Picks it up. It's DCA. We call jump ball, and possession stays with DCA. I'm not really sure. I guess he thought they were coming to foul him. Now, now you now, but Somerset's got possession now, so you gotta make sure you take care of the basketball. Atine finding Fugate. Whitaker steals it and puts it in. Four-point game, but the clock Down keeps four. rolling. The clock keeps running. Boyd dribbling by three defenders. And they're going to call the foul on Godby when Godby is pleading his case, saying, promise I didn't foul him. Down four here as Fugate, or I'm sorry, Boyd going to the line for DCA. First free throw attempt is up, no good. Now things get there. It's the hardest free throw to shoot right here, is in, you know, and then uh, the following up a miss. But they got to get the rebound. Boy, let's it go, it's good. Whitaker brings it up. He's got the ball, drives in, kicks it out to Absher for three. We're going to call jump ball. No, a foul. I thought it was jump ball at first. That would have been must be second. out of timeouts. Yeah. Nine seconds. Anything can happen. you gotta, you got to hit your free throws. situation to be in. feel sorry for this young man. Ryan Young 
coaching up his squad here. What's a timeout? Wow. I'm going to try to ice the free throw shooter. I am nervous for this young man right now. Oh, man. He's Josh. Josh played AAU with my son a few years ago. So, oh. Um, we know Josh very well. Well, Josh is uh, he's being asked tonight right now by the Briar Jumper faithful to grow up really quick. And uh, woo. so coming down to it right now, that was a big foul. Wow. Wow. Ken Enfeld turns around, looks at me with a big smile on his face, being like, you got to love this, right? It's a uh, man. We might I don't see. know. I'm a little speechless right now. Yeah. You, you, you know, this game was over at 40 some seconds, seven, you know, DCF seven. Now, here's what's going to happen. You know, Somerset has to make the free throw here. If they don't make it, you got to get a quick put back for the win. If you make it, you do not bow. If DCA hits a half quarter or a three quarter shot to win it, so be it. But you need to make this free throw and then you go to overtime. Ben Godby. Free throw by Josh Lewis. Second up by Duke. No good. Overtime. Yeah, maybe I should do my best, Dickie B. Well, baby. Yeah, all right, Dickie B, baby. P tier. DT Beer. We got some extra time. Another four minutes to go before we decide. But like you said, Kenny, the difference would be the fouls. Not wanting to look back yet because we don't know the outcome. But a lot. Instead, we're playing an extra extra minute. You know, all the momentum is on Somerset's side. All the pressures with DCA. DCA was up seven, 40 some seconds to go. They could not close it out. Somerset's energi energized. They've made a few shots. It's going to be interesting. But listen, DCA was here just a couple nights yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, see who's got anything left in the tank for this game. It's been uh, high energy, although the crowd filed out on the opposite side of the gym on PC side and Mercer side. It's still loud in here right now. It's a full gym. We've got a lot of people in here. It's part of a neutral crowd, but going to be picking sides, I think. Who will play Pulaski County tomorrow? championship. We'll find out in four minutes. Yeah, I think that's at 7 p.m. right here. 7 p.m. here in Pulaski County Gym. You know what? I might just stay here. I'm not even going to go home. I'm just going to stay. I, I feel like out. I might as well. You think, that, you think they'll let me have lunch tomorrow? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll pack it. 
for you. We got you covered. All right, possession goes to DCA. Titus Boyd. Gets it down to Tina, it's out of bounds. Back to Somerset. Man, a Somerset three here will be huge, would be super big. Aiden Absher bringing it up for the jumpers. Back to Whitaker. God be with the ball. Looking, two hands. Forces it out. Gets it in the corner for Lewis for three. No good. Rebound comes to Atine. Atine has it to Boyd. You know, the last game we did, we said the first team that misses is going to lose. He's this one might be the first team that makes one in overtime. Yeah. A teammate with the back to the there basket. shot, and it's good. Again. Trying over. to do a little too much. Whitaker has it. It's going to slow it down for the jumpers. Whitaker guarded by Boyd. Gets it to Godby. Now from Grundy. Godby finds Whitaker off the curl. Wide open for three. It's good. A dart. Whitaker. An absolute dart by Whitaker. Listen, if he's open, it's in. Yep. Got to find him. They're trying to get the ball down low. Atine puts it off the glass and in. That, that's, that's what they're going to have to do right there. DCA just throw it down low every single time. At this point, do you maybe you put somebody in the to foul and put him to the yeah. free throw line? Almost stolen by a Tine. Wide open for Whitaker for three again. Whitaker again. He's they are fire. not going down without a fight. Uh, Emmanuel Duke with the ball, guarded by Whitaker. Titus Boyd back to Fugate, back to Boyd. DCA down look to get it back down low two. again. Atine for three. It's good. Wow. Wow. That's his second three. Seven footer. Or second six three. Ten. For Atine. The footer stepping back, hitting it. Fans are coming to life on both sides. Whitaker, with, or Godby with the ball. Dribbles into traffic in the lane. Gets it out to Lewis. Finds, tries to find Grundy, and it's out of bounds. Minute 28, I cannot, number 35 for DCA, we call him Big Lake, just stepped out. Yeah. He's got, does he got, he's got all seven points for DCA in this Absolutely. overtime. Absolutely, he's taking over the game. Here's Godby, guarded by Duke. Gets it back to Aiden Absher, gets it to Lewis. I think I'm running something to get Whitaker Lewis open back here. To Absher, who's holding it, finds Whitaker, back to Lewis. Lewis gonna runs the action to Grundy. Grundy finds now Whitaker on the opposite wing. It's good. Whitaker again. Taking over the game. This is nuts. 55-57. Whitaker. Neither team deserves to lose this one. All nine points coming from Whitaker. Here's IA. Up. He's fouled on the floor by Absher. Two shots here. It's tense in here right now. Can't hear. Cole Grundy has fouled out. Bartley checks back in. Got to make free throws here. Big Lou's a pretty good shooter, too. He's a solid free throw shooter. Ian at the line. Shooting a free throw. It's good. We don't. I'm sorry, Somerset. We're going to call a timeout. Let me ask you a question. If you're Ryan Young, do you try to hold it for the last shot here? 45 seconds is a long time to hold it. Yeah, it could ice your shooter a little bit. I don't know. Uh, you know, but I'll tell you this real quick. shot me. Boister, the coach he played for in high school, would have held it. Jeff Jackson. Ryan Young won two region championships with him. And they would, at this point, he would say, hey, we're taking the last shot. And remember, we talked about this uh, in Wayne DCA. Wayne had the ball, eight seconds to go. In the, in the bonus. Yeah, you're right. The free throw line. This was everything. This shot right here that's taken. 
We'll see. Both teams listening in to their coach in this huddle. 45 seconds to end someone's season. Who's it going to be? Right now, coming out of it, we got Fugit, Boyd, Aie, Atenye, and Duke. The starters for DCA still in the game. And jumpers out Cole Grundy and two other players right now playing with four fouls. We shall see what happens. Possibly. Ball's going to be inbounded. Somerset ball. Whitaker gets the pass inbounds. He brings it up. 44 seconds counting down. Guarded by Fugate. Absher Boy, guarded by Boyd. Careful not to walk there. Absher gets it to Bartley. Bartley looking right side to Godby, and he's guarded by a teenage. Godby takes a deep breath, passes it to Lewis. Freshman Lewis. Hit free throws to send it into overtime. Looks like they're going to stall for the last shot. Kenny, you called it. Whitaker now, guarded by Fugate. He's spinning, almost on the half-court line and turning it over. Bartley back to Godby. Godby finds Whitaker, curl screen. Bartley wide open for a shot, can't hit it, it's out of bounds. And they're going to say Somerset ball. 1.3, 1.3 seconds left. Somerset's going to inbound the ball underneath their own basket. Looks like it's Whitaker inbounding the ball. Got a catch and shoot. Off the curl screen is Godby. Out to Lewis for three. No good. We got double overtime coming up. Double overtime. Man. Folks, I told you you're going to have to stick around. This is going to be a uh, long night here at PCTM. Way past my bedtime, but you're seeing a 12th region tournament classic right here. Uh, I'm running out of energy up here. I need a Mountain Dew. I need, I need something. Where's the yeah, we're gonna close the concession stand? We're going to have to get overtime pay right now for this. DCA, they, Somerset had a shot at the end. And, um, Wide open. Bartley met at the rim, too, by contact, and it was anything could happen. The longer it goes, though, I think it benefits DCA, you know, the uh, the overtimes and stuff. Somerset shot lights out in that overtime. Absolutely. Tied up at 57 apiece. Overtime basketball, the Briar Jumpers holding on to dear faith right now as they want their team to win. Possession's going to go to DCA, I believe, has the ball. As uh, the drummers have stopped drumming, and I can actually hear right now. Uh, right now. Ball right now is going to be tipped. Four more minutes. Four more Double minutes. Double overtime near Pulaski County Gym. Region semis goes to Boyd. Lewis has it. Lewis has the ball. Gets it to Absher. Absher dribbles right side, guarded by Boyd. Absher now comes to the top of the key, wide open. Finds Whitaker. Whitaker dribbles back to Absher. Catch. Whitaker with the basketball. Hey, listen, guarded by taking time off the clock here is not a bad thing. Get what you want. Don't force nothing up. Whitaker now catch and shoot to Absher. Absher now back to Whitaker. Hot potato. Icing a lot on this possession, Somerset. Bartley back to Lewis. Lewis now is going to get it back to the top of the key to Godby. Godby, 12th region player of the year with the basketball. Has the ball now in the corner to Bartley. Bartley has it, gets it over to Absher. A lot on this possession, over a minute, holding the ball with Somerset. Crowd on their feet. Absher dribbles left. Passes it off to Josh Lewis, the freshman. Lewis dribbles back to Absher. 
Not in any hurry is the jumpers. Whitaker has it. Like I said, you want to get the Back right shot here. Bartley. Back to Lewis. Or I'm sorry, Absher. Back to Lewis. Guarded by Atine at the top of the zone. Lewis. Now a minute 30 seconds with the ball. Somerset icing the possession. They're going to hold it the entire time if they have to. Coach Young teaching patience to his guys. Gabby saying clear some traffic here. Bartley back to Lewis. Lewis now pulls back. Lewis dribbling. Back to Whitaker. Whitaker dribbles back to Absher with the ball. Absher gets it over to Bartley. Bartley back over to Whitaker. Down low to Godby. Thought about it. Dribbles it out. Minute 50 seconds. It's been two minutes and 15 seconds with the ball. Somerset has had in this overtime. Probably because the wheels are about to come off. Listen, this if they can do this, then this is smart on their part. Take it down and take the last shot again. Whitaker. Bartley. Now, Absher. I'm sorry, Lewis with the basketball. Lewis drives into the lane. Thinking about doing something, gets it to Godby. Godby guarded by Duke. Calls with the screen. Back to Absher. Absher now with the ball. Looking. Finds Godby. Godby's got the ball in his hands. One minute, ten seconds left to go. Basketball now to Whitaker. Whitaker dribbling. The top of the key. Long possession. Three, Three minutes. minutes possession three minute possession right there in a timeout here 57 57 so it looks like Kenny you called it they're gonna play for probably the last shot at this point I mean you now the question is does, D, does DCA let them and, you, and here's where Summers, if you get a layup in your summer set you have to take it but what you don't want to do is turn it over or take a really bad contested shot at this point. Because if you do, DCA is going to get the last possession at that, at, at, at that time. But Somerset, you get the ball in, you probably try to run the same thing. And I noticed on the last time, they started running their set at about 11 seconds. And I think the play was to injure it, but two people come with him, so he dumped it down low. Yeah. And they had the shot. Now, it's eager to see what happens if they run it again. I would, I would imagine they run it again. Well, at this point, but they got to hold the ball for another 50 seconds. You can either live by this or you can get burnt by it. So we'll see. One minute, three seconds left to go out of the timeout. Gobby's going to inbound the ball for Somerset. And you got to think, nobody's took a shot for three minutes. And that, that, that could mean something right now. Gobby inbounds to Whitaker. Whitaker's going to bring it up for Somerset. And Whitaker's going to dribble it out. Guarded by Fugate. Absher with the ball. Almost stolen away by Atine. 29 seconds. They've held the ball this entire overtime. Well, you got, if you're Somerset, you want Andrew to take the shot. Here we go. They're going to get the last shot. You still want to fail. Barley with the ball.
they need to. I don't know. At this point, Ryan Young's probably doing that to conserve yeah. just because he doesn't know how many more trips his guys got up the court. Two guys playing with four fouls. You know, the one thing I can tell you, I still would like to see them try to get to the free throw line there in that situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You go into contact, force them to make you, the call. You're in the bonus. Now, I will say this. The referees are not going to call anything marginal right now. It's going to have to be an obvious foul. No, absolutely not. And here we are in another barn burner here, Kenny. DCA played up to, lived up to the height. Nothing's been easy in this 12th region tournament for, for DCA. To be this a DCA is, fan right now, and you gotta, and both these teams got to play tomorrow night. Yeah. Well, one of them does. Yeah, so what's left? We'll see. Here's the tip. Get it. Tip Get goes it. to Somerset. Ah. DCA is. <laughs> I don't fans. think they're going to let them hold it again. Yeah. DCA fans have just been <laughs> like, oh, gosh, not again. Lewis drives. Gets it to uh, Whitaker, and Whitaker's going to, or I'm sorry, Lewis brings it out to Whitaker. Fans, we apologize. Our view has been completely obstructed right here to where we can't see anything at all by the yeah, fans. I think standing. everybody's standing up in front of them so, so they can't uh, see. Anyway, we're doing our best we can. Here's Lewis right now with the ball. The top of the key guarded by a Tine. I think it they're going to try to hold it again. Uh, it looks like it. Wow. Which, to be honest, if you can hold it, it's not a bad call. I know people hate it, but it, listen, you're playing for a chance to win a region here. You got to do what you got to do. Everything counts. Pass has got to be sharp and crisp. Absher with the ball. Gets it to Whitaker. Here's what I, you know, if I'm DCA and, I, and they're going to hold it, why not? Here's uh, some penetration. They're going to call a... Foul on DCA on the no, floor? No, I think it was out of bounds on DCA. I'm sorry. Out of bounds on DCA. It's going to stay with the jumpers. My bad. Inbounding the ball it's for hard, the jumpers. It's hard to see in that in. corner there. Yeah, I can't see anything. Uh, Whitaker picked up his dribble back to Godby, back to Whitaker. Now, I will tell you this. If I'm Whitaker and I get a wide open three, I am shooting it. Absolutely. Pull it. Catch him off guard a little bit right here. Aiden Absher brings it out for the jumpers. Drives right. Stolen by Duke. Up court to Fugate. And DCA's got a possession. Yep. <laughs> wow. Two minutes, 20 yeah, seconds. That's what I'm saying. When you hold the ball, put the you, pressure you on them. You can't turn it over. you, you got to want to get that last shot. Here's Emmanuel Duke. Now, if you're Somerset, you don't mind to let it go for a minute, but you want to put the pressure on. And that way, you you know you possibly get a possession. With about a minute to go, you probably come out and you really guard. DCA is going to talk about it in a timeout. See what we're going to do here. We realign things defensively and offensively as both teams have now gone over six minutes without a basket. Listen, I said 55 and 60 is the number that you got to have to beat DCA. But I didn't think it did three or four overtimes. Yeah. But I do think, I'll be honest with you, I think this, somebody's going to win in this moment. Somebody's going to win. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's uh, it's now time. If you're DCA, at the, I, I, I think you have to throw it down to your bigs. Absolutely. And um, take a chance, you know, let them do what they've done the whole game. A Tine has been the guy, especially in that second quarter when it was trading baskets. He's been almost unstoppable. So I would, I, I'd like getting a shot down low. We still got media to do after this. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a late one for uh, 12th Region Sports and Maroon Sports Network tonight. I wish the band would stop playing, and they have. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, I mean, I just don't know how much more I can. I don't know if I can do another four minutes of the band just playing right behind us. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to lose my mind. But, hey, in a good way, it's basketball in the 12th oh, region. I'm going to throw it away. away. Fugate has it. He had to jump up there. Go, go, yeah, Gadget. Shot that vertical off. To get it. I'm surprised he had that left in the tank. I'm eager to see what Somerset's plan is here. 
ECA is going to hold it for a possession. If you're Somerset, I'm telling with about a minute to go, you want to start putting the pressure on them to, to DCA to do something. Manuel Duke, a, he's been the guy. Almost dribbled, dribbled it, it off his feet. Dribbles it out. Fugate for three. Oh! Rebound. Whitaker's got it. It was a wide open look, and he's made those shots a lot, so, you know. Whitaker's got the ball. Somerset has to get a good shot here, a good look. Lewis. Might have been too cold. I think Somerset got in, called a timeout, diving on the floor. Wow. Big time play by the freshman there. 57 all timeout here. Staying up with us tonight for the play by play. Happy to bring it to you as we are in our third overtime. Possibly a fourth. I had to take a break for a minute. Seconds left to go in regulation. Tied up at 57 apiece. Somerset has the ball. Probably last possession. and me even trying to talk with the band playing right there. It's just uh, a little too much. But uh, right now in this timeout, both teams trying to talk about strategy, what to do in this situation when there's a long rebound. If someone gives up a rebound, if you've got a quick inbound the ball to do something on the other end, all of those things being talked about right now, situational basketball. 57 I, seconds, let's go, and 57, 57. I'm wore out, man. I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm tired. I know. We're uh, overtime, overtime, overtime. Brad Smith, we need you on this call here at the end, brother. Where you at? We, you know, th there's been a lot of big shots in this gym. A couple years ago, the shot from yeah. Cole Ralston. Yeah. We've seen it all. Southwestern with the buzzer beater, 2018. Balls being inbounded by Whitaker behind the basket. Fugate trying to inbound, guard the inbounds pass. Uh, they're going to try to hold it again. They, they, got, by they Duke. got Dude on injury. Oh, that's a fight. No. Dude's got him. Just got to play clean here. No fouls. If you're DCA, Somerset, you want to get a good shot. Like I said, again, you want the last shot, but you want it to be a good shot. Ben Godby with the basketball. He's going to get too crazy. Don't get you don't want to get too fancy with it. Both teams. Ice possession. 19 and counting overtime. here. Absher goes right. Hands off to Whitaker. Back to Lewis. Lewis back to Whitaker. Wide open for three. Two players, two starters with four fouls. 
It's been big for Somerset. Don't want to foul a, a shooter so many feet away. So <laughs> now you probably want those seven footers to go up and get it. It's eager to see what happens here. Probably let it go early. Oh, off the rim. Somerset wins. Somerset storms the floor. As Kenny. The boys regional championship is going to be between Crosstown Rivals. Blasty County High School. Phenomenal team all year. Oh, yeah. And, guys, listen, it took everything. It took Somerset's best game to beat them tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, this took – DCA will be back. This took an all-out effort right here. Uh, ben Godby and Ingrid Whitaker. Ingrid Whitaker. And coming Whitaker, a lot good in that second half. That second overtime oh, – I'm sorry, the first overtime – where it was, it was, it I was said 16 weeks, it right? Uh, well, we're getting called out here by the Somerset yeah. crowd. Hey, Boyster, it's been a pleasure, sir. Hey, man, always. Hey, listen, we might have to call another overtime tomorrow. Me and you, fourth <laughs> quarter tomorrow. The, hey, an all Pulaski County champion, Pulaski no. Somerset. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I can handle it. Going all we it. know is the 12th region will, will be represented by the Lake Cumberland area. Yeah. Guard Armory player of the game. And Kenny, I'm just gonna have to run out of here before yeah, anything uh, happens. Let's go do it. Let's go ask some questions in the media room. Yeah, let's go do it. Tucker's Precision Lawn Care and Pressure Washing can do it all, such as mowing, landscaping, pressure washing, snow removal, Christmas light installation, and junk removal. We are fully insured. Give them a call at 606-425-2580. That's 606-425-2580.